This is a quick tip on snapping objects to objects that are rotated. So for example, if I was making a vocal monitor for say on stage, right? Like a singer uses it to hear themselves. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll just quickly set this up. Um, and uh, like this, I'm extrude up like that. And then from the front to the side, I'm gonna go to wireframe grab those and I'll um, scale X to zero let's say and uh, I'll inset this so I'm gonna want to have a speaker inside this okay right there I want to I want a speaker and I have a, a, a grill or a mesh you know and the singer stands there and they can hear themselves um, if I want to punch a hole in this uh, a circular hole so for example uh, let's make sure I've selected that and I bring the, the cursor to there the 3d cursor to there and i say okay i'm going to do a boolean uh, on here and i'm going to use a cylinder i don't care about the vertices and let's just scale it so that it would fit so let's say i want a hole in there uh if i just do a boolean right now you know that that hole is going to be on an angle and i certainly wouldn't want it that deep anyhow but um so here's here's basically how, how you do it i want to snap to this face i want this oriented on an angle now i could try to rotate it and all that that's crazy so Come down to snapping, face, and make sure this is on here, this align rotation with snapping target. So you do that, I'll just take this out. As you bring it down, you sort of mouse over that face, all right? And then turn it off once it's aligned, all right? You can see, turn it off. And then to get it to go in nicely, just switch over to normal. And then it'll come down, push it in a little bit. Let's say that's enough. And then you can do your manipulation. So if it happened to be a boolean, let me first put, put a bevel on this so it just looks a little bit nicer. All right, so select that and go boolean. And bring it above the bevel. Difference, the object is the cylinder. And apply, get rid of that. And I've got my uh, hole uh, you know, on a nice angle. And then you can decide if you want to do other manipulations um, what I would tend to do here this is not part of it is I would uh, grab that and I would bevel that a little just a little bit like that and then I would uh, grab this face and control plus a few times till I got out and deselect that face and then come over to shading UVs and hit uh, smoothing there um, it may or may not do a nice job of this you can try different uh, bevels that's actually what i want right there okay so uh that can be used to snap to uh rotated objects